Hello, my name is Jan Thielemann and in this video I want to talk about uh, how you can quickly pack out things um, <coughs> which you created on your test system and um, install them in your productive system. Uh, I think I already made a video about 2-pack but um, this was 2-pack um, for application dictionary things and if you have uh, normal entries like a web service for example and that's why this video is in the um, web service tutorial section so um, let's say we have this test web service of the type model oriented um, hello what's wrong with you ah there is read data. Um, let's save this. The table is uh, ready. User, user, for example. Save this. Uh, since it's a read web service, we need the table name, which is a constant. ID user. We need the action which is a constant read and we need the record ID ID I hope this is right which is free save this record ID action table name okay we should have everything ready here the output field is for example value and name and this is just an example and we have the web service access the system administrator okay um yeah this is a little bit tricky because you would have to need the same roles on your um, on both of your systems with the same uh, uuid so um, if your roles differ a little bit uh, for example whoops if you test on your local system with another role uh, as on the productive system, then I recommend you just to not pack out the web service access tab. So um, how do I pack out now? Um, of course I could use the pack out window. Open this and create a new package and create a package detail and here I would have to use I believe either I could use SQL statements or I could use data and then I have to choose the web service type um, table which is WS web service type and then I could create a statement to pack out this but that's um, yeah that's not uh, practical when I just want to transfer my uh, web service from my test system to my productive system. So what do I do now? Uh, of course I could re-implement all this um, by hand but if you have um, bigger web services with uh, many many columns that's real sick to do that. So we use the export function right here. And um, you see this, we can export the current row only or we can export all the rows. Then we can select which um, tabs we also want to export and we added something in the parameters and the output fields. So why not uh, exporting this? Uh, we haven't um, added something here, so it doesn't matter if we check it or not. And yeah, um, in my case, I don't want the web service access to get exported because when I develop in my machine I have my own roles normally I have a development database and um, my clients have their own roles on their productive systems so I send them a two pack they can pack it in and um, add the web service access by themselves so here I hit OK and you see I get this um, little zip file here downloaded and now we need to delete this because I don't have a second system and I can't pack in something which already exists. Here a little trick, hit this checkbox and the delete button and all the sub entries will get deleted. Um, the same by the way works in the grid view. You can also here check 
um, different entries and delete them all at once. Okay, so now my web server security is uh, empty again. What I can do now is go to the pack in window on my target client, of course, create a new entry and name it whatever you want. Uh, my web servers, whatever. So hit the uh, attachment button and load the zip file you just created. Hit the OK button. And now you can hit the packing button. And as you see here, uh, six things got uh, packed in. And now I go back to my web server security, hit the refresh button and ta-da! There it is. My web servers packed in on probably another system. Then I packed it out. Yeah, so um, here you saw the export function. Uh, we also have an import um, function right here. Um, but I never tried this, so maybe we can give this a quick shot also, just to see what will happen. Is it a good idea to check both of them? We will see. <laughs> okay, so again, whoops, um, delete the sub entries. And the reason why I'm deleting the sub entries is because if you have a sub entry, you can't delete the parent. Okay, so now I um, remove this. Let's say insert, select the file, hit OK. And there it is. It's even easier than using the pack in window. Have you seen this? That's how easy you can transfer changes from one client uh, to another. Okay, I hope this video helps you. And I see you soon in the next video.